So in other videos, we've had a look at how we can create custom list views, such as the one that we see here. We've had a look at how we can show charts to give us a bit more of a visual representation as to what's going on. Uh, but what I want to show you now is how we can encourage collaboration and group discussion around certain areas of Dynamics 365 for sales. Now, of course, you know, Microsoft don't just develop Dynamics. They also manage and develop Office 365. And one of the most recent updates has been the introduction of uh, Microsoft Teams, which actually is replacing Skype for business um, as a really good tool to collaborate with our peers um, and reduce reliance on sort of um, one one on one emails. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take this custom list view that we've created within Dynamics and we're going to integrate it with Microsoft Teams to encourage that group discussion. So first thing we need to do is click on Office um, then click on Teams. Um, it will want to open the desktop application, but I can't do that. Obviously, it'll open up a, a Azure IT, but what I've done is I've specified um, that it opens in the web interface instead, which is particularly useful. So here's our Teams, obviously a group discussion. So if we go into um, sales and marketing, let's just create a new um, team here. So uh, Sorry, new channel within this team. So let's say um, opportunity... Uh, analysis or something like that. Um, we can then sort of um, set privacy levels. Again, I'm not going to go into how Teams works, but we just add that channel. Um, and this is going to be the area that we then encourage that uh, encourage that group discussion. So within this opportunity analysis here, we've then got the option not only to obviously promote conversations. So, you know, we can add different members of the team. So at Adele, um, can we have a chat about opportunity XYZ, you know, so that's, that's all well and good, but what we want to do now is we actually want to start adding in some information. So I'm going to click on the, the plus here. Um, I'm going to click on Dynamics 365, um, and then I'm going to select um, what I want to see. So let's go into view selection. Um, let's go into opportunities. Just scroll down the list. There we go. And then we'll go into the custom view that we've created. So let's do one opportunities, um, actual versus decision date. Um, click on save and then what it will do is I'll add another tab at the top of our teams page um, and then what we can do is we can click on the little conversation here um, to promote discussion around this opportunity list and analysis view that we've got and we can even show the charts in there um, if we want to start dissecting that as well so we've got the Dynamics 365 for sales embedded within Microsoft Teams with the ability to encourage group discussion so again we can tag Adele if we want to um, what do we think about computer systems upgrade? Oh, sorry, spelling mistake there, you'll have to forgive me. Um, and then, of course, when Adele looks into um, that note that she's got through Teams, she can very quickly go into computer systems upgrade and drill down into that information from Teams without having to go into Dynamics. So you can see how within the Microsoft ecosystem, linking everything up makes your work process even more powerful um, and encourages um, more methods of communication and efficiency to help you make better business decisions at the end of the day. So hopefully that's given you a good insight. Um, if you're not using Teams already, then please do. To order Dynamics 365 licenses or to sign up to a 30-day free trial, navigate to d365.link forward slash now.